How does that feel? It's actually quite relaxing. Next is heels. Oh my god, I'm cramping already. Blue. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, right. These. Wow, are... you do look like my nanny. My name is Joe Marler, and I'm a professional rugby player. I will be the best drag queen that I could possibly do, as long as it's still got my beard. Playtime is over, Joe, because Blue Eyed Ranger has arrived. I'm Blue Eyed Ranger, and I am best known for being fabulous, looking stunning, and winning a few crimes. Thanks, boys. Lovely to meet you, Joe. I'm Blue Hydrangea. You're a fairy drag mother. I wish I had your confidence. <laughs> confidence on is one of the main things I thought you had. Oh, <laughs> I'm full of a lot of complete excitement to get stuck into it now. <laughs> Hello. You're the man behind the mask. <laughs> You're blue. Yeah, same person. Yeah. I don't know what to say. And it's Josh, not Blue. Josh, yeah. I thought just to ease you in, I brought a few little makeup bits. Okay. If you would like to close your eyes for me. How does that feel? It's actually quite relaxing. Next is heels. Oh my God, I'm cramping already. Blue, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, right, these Wow, are... you do look like my nanny. I just hope that we can get to the end product. There's a lot of finessing that I'm gonna have to do. Now it's time to tell you what we'll be doing for your performance. You are going to be welcomed into the world of magic. Ooh. Like a drag David Blaine. Oh, are you ready to learn some magic? Dragic. Dragic. Um, abracadabra. <laughs> I don't think this is going I to go it. well. When it comes to the tricks, we need some work. A uh, champagne bottle. Yes. So I'm going to make that disappear. Oh my god. Oh no, what have I got myself into? This is gonna be hard. Yeah. And now it's going to disappear. disappear. <laughs> A person like you wanting to do drag, why? Doing something out of my comfort zone helps me with my mental health. You can fake confidence, which I've done most of my career. Drag is how I find so much out about myself. It took me a while to find and accept myself, but once I did, I was so much happier. Hey, babe, take a walk on the wild side. Today, we're gonna play some dress up. Wow, yeah. Oh my God. I think you look great. I said, hey, Joe, take a walk on the wild side. So we've got the script. Give us the first <clears throat> line. Feminize your voice. The art of magic. No. Take your time with it. Chucking in some lines as well as the magic. Not quite as easy as I thought it was going to be. I think I've had some ideas about the final trick. And it is going to be a spectacle! Am I a good magician? No. I'm intentionally going to play a bad magician where it can go wrong at any minute. Please welcome England rugby legend Joe Marler as his drag queen alter ego, Trixie Turnover! Big woman. <laughs> oh. Hey. That was brilliant. Love it Magic is about making dreams a reality. For tonight, I originally intended to fulfill my lifelong dream of sawing a woman in half. But sadly, rehearsals went bad. <laughs> really bad, actually. Oh, my lovely assistant, Peggy. Don't worry, she's forgiven me already, haven't you? <laughs> 
Once for yes, twice for no. <laughs> I know what you're all thinking. Could it be magic? No. It's not magic. It's not magic at all. Real magic is placing an ordinary item in a magical paper bag and then making it vanish. Oh. Whoa, it's magic, you know. For my big illusion, I need a volunteer. <gasps> Excellent choice. Into the box. Hurry, hurry. Uh, excuse me, Peggy. There you go. Shoes. Thank you. Thank you. Magic's hard. Heels, impossible. <laughs> and now we will place them inside my pink prison. <laughs> In 1926, Harry Houdini's personal record for this illusion was 30 seconds. Tonight, I will do it in less than 10 minutes. <laughs> but he didn't have to do it in a corset, did he? <laughs> Hit it! He's done all the hard bits. Oh, snug it here, and I thought my corset was a tight fit. Ha! Oh, I think I just found Debbie McGee. Oh, I can smell my own tights. Well, at least I hope they're mine. Yeah? <laughs> Did you really enjoy it, though? Loved it. Oh. Loved it. From the day I was asked to do it, I couldn't sign up quick enough. Meeting Blue, everything. I've loved it. It's been brilliant. <laughs> I'm Blue. You must be so incredibly proud. I really am. You've gone from someone that I would be scared to see at my school to now <laughs> someone that has come in with an open mind and open heart and just accepted the thing that I love. And you just smashed it! It was amazing! It's a real sense of, of confidence. With rugby, as soon as I cross the white line, I become that rugby character. Mm. I'm not the same as I am when I'm at home. And it was similar with drag, that as soon as I became Trixie, you get a whole, you grow an extra leg. <laughs> <laughs> no? We tuck it away, I yeah. promise. <laughs> and you become more confident, yes, I loved it. Well, Rob. I mean, I've never seen drag and magic together. I'm still not sure if I have. I don't know what happened, but I loved it. <laughs> I was tempted to mark you down for not shaving the beard. <gasps> However, now you've glittered it. I yeah. think you've, you've clawed back that point. And let me tell you, you will never, ever get that glitter out of your <laughs> I think you may have to shave it off anyway. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I thought it was brilliant. And I, I, I could see how much you were loving it. And I, I could imagine Trixie coming out maybe on a rugby tour when you're away with the lads to do a show after a game. <laughs> Is that something you'd be tempted by? For the right price. <laughs> Courtney, you've done magic before. You know what it's like. You know how, how tough it is. What did you think? Oh, I just loved it. I was just so thoroughly impressed. You had so much confidence and so much joy going into it. So thank you for entertaining us with your magic. Thank you. Absolutely. Melanie, there was everything in there, wasn't there? There was, there was comedy, there was magic, there was even a wee tiny bit of singing. Yeah. You know what I think we really have to acknowledge is that everybody else here tonight is an entertainer. You are our only sports person. And I think to see a rugby player here is really powerful. You talked about lacking confidence. You would never have known that. And I think after tonight, you have to realise you can do anything. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. I was going to drag when you took the heels off. Because I went exactly high. So I was like, why can we not just have them? But then, of course, when you pop behind here, I was like, OK, she's doing a marathon back there. So yeah. it made sense. <laughs> so, so no, I take that back. You've been up there. It's really powerful to show that drag 
it can be for everyone, but also it's just about expressing yourself and I think you can inspire lots of people. It was a fabulous job and thank you. Thank you. So go wild for Blue Hydrangea and Trixie Turnover. Hey there, welcome to the end screen. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to receive notifications. See you next time.